everyone, this is Randall with Infinity Digital. I'm here to give you some stock picks for today. This is uh, my last pick of uh, this month. Uh, ASML is a stock. ASML is the ticker. It's selling for $703 a share. And uh, they got some uh, picked up some trades on it that are uh, around seven hundred thousand dollars worth of bullish trades, which is seventy-five percent of the trades that we're talking about. Uh, they're bullish trades, which are calls for uh, seven hundred thousand dollars, and then we got about uh, I think it was twenty thousand dollars worth of. Uh, bearish trades which was uh, puts on it uh, I think the reason they put the puts on it they're afraid that uh, this is a, like a Chinese stock and they're not uh, they're not uh, sending chips across seas now they put some kind of embargo or something on them but I think they'll release that embargo very soon and, uh, but, I mean, I wouldn't want to put a whole lot into it to begin with. I might buy one or two shares, you know, and then see if it goes up or not. And if it starts going up, you can add to it, you know. You don't never want to invest no more than you can afford to lose anyway. Uh, that's sort of an expensive stock, so, I mean... You wouldn't want to buy a whole, a whole lot of shares of it anyway. But uh, the second stock I have is uh, S-O-U-N is the ticker for it. It's selling at $1.98 a share right now. The high was $5.11, 52-week high, $5.11 and the uh, 52 week low was a dollar and 97 cents. They're sort of down in the dip right now, so you should be able to afford to buy them cheap and uh, wait for them to go back up, which they'll go back up, I'm so quite certain. Uh, the name of this uh, company is Soundhound. They're uh, uh, sound uh, AI stock. All this is AI stock that I'm talking about, actually, right here. And uh, they're supposed to have uh, uh, different clients in the healthcare industry and the uh, music industry and uh, also in the AI automotive industry because uh, uh, they got to have like sound in coming in with the uh, AI to work good on uh, on the uh, automated driving. Uh, I also have NRDY, which is nerdy. It's three dollars and fifteen cents a share right now. The high 52 week high was five dollars and thirty seven cents. And the low, 52-week low, was three dollars and twelve cents. So there again, these are down low, and they'll come back up. F L F S L Y is another one. F S L Y, and they're sixteen dollars and thirty-seven cents a share. Their 52-week high was twenty-four thirty-one. And their 52-week low was $16.36. Uh, they're they'll be coming up again. I'm quite certain it's 30% uh, volume on on the rise of the stock, and uh, there's like a 25% volume on the raise of the stock on NRDY. And Sound, uh, Soundhound is probably.
probably going to double within the next few months. Uh, those are cheap stocks, and uh, they should work out pretty well for you. It's like I say, though, you don't ever want to invest more than you can afford to lose because uh, of the way the economy is and the way that the markets are. Like that ASML, that's a Chinese stock, and and you don't ever know what it might be, you know, uh, where we can't trade with them no more or whatever, you know, and you can't never tell about it. Uh, if if you don't mind, uh, stay what, around to the end of the. Uh, video and I'll give you the best stock pick I've got this year on stocks and uh, I'll give that to you at the end of the of the of the video uh, like I say ASML is pretty expensive you don't want to put a whole lot into it, one or two shares maybe, and then see if it goes up. If it does, you can add more to it if you got the money to put in it, you know. Uh, you, you couldn't afford to buy, most people couldn't afford to buy many shares of that stock anyway. But Soundhound has, should double within the next two months. And uh, Nerdy, uh, they're expecting it to go uh, analysts are expecting it to go to four or five dollars right now is what they're expecting it to go to uh, and it'll probably go up that much in probably the next quarter uh, that's January February, March March and it, and it's a possibility they might but uh, I can't guarantee you anything uh, the economy, the way the economy is getting and all, and and the way everything's going, uh, you just you just don't never know what's going to happen. And but like I like I was saying on my last video, that I I think, and I truly believe this that you're better off putting your money into an asset than you are leaving it in the bank or. Uh, in cash because if something does happen you'll own that asset and that asset will always be worth uh, the same as it always has been but your money might not be worth as much as it always has been uh, it's just like a house or something like that if the economy goes bad you know that that house is going to retain its value more than likely and uh, it won't never lose value unless somebody uh, messes the value up of them like they did on in 2008 on a bunch of that real estate stock. Uh, it depends on where you live a lot of times what your place is going to be worth or your houses or real estate is going to be worth. And uh, I'm going to say that uh, uh, the stock ain't, ain't going to change prices that much. I mean, your dollar might go down but uh, in, in value, but I don't think real estate will go down in value. It never has. Uh, I mean, it did some in 08, but it wasn't like losing... 90% of your money, you know, uh, but in cash, it, it, the way this uh, economy is getting now, it's a good chance you might, if you keep cash around or whatever, but uh, I think, I, I think uh, stock is just, just as good as real estate as far as investing in it, and uh, uh, like, but like I say, you can't never tell whether it's going to go up or down in the markets or not. Uh, especially
especially if they let the market tank out or whatever, but you always take a chance at it anyway. It's, it's like a gamble. I guess life's a gamble in a way, but uh, if you're careful with it, you can do real well at it. Uh, but uh, I was wanting to talk with you a little bit about this last stock that I've got. And uh, I think it's the best stock for 2024 as far as that goes, which is uh, TSLA. It's Tesla. Tesla stocks are running about $240 a share right now. Uh, Tesla's in a lot more ventures or uh, ventures than what you would think that they're in right now. Uh, they build robots. They're building semi-trucks. They are into SpaceX, which that's a different stock altogether. That's a stock of its own right there. It isn't, in, it isn't involved in Tesla. And uh, his other company, the Boring Company, what they call it, uh, they've got, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's just privately owned by him right now, by, Tesla, uh, by Elon Musk right now. Uh, but it probably come into a, a, a public own, a, 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 be selling stock on it, uh, run, open it up public for long. We call it, uh, but uh, Tesla has got, uh, or Elon Musk has got that boring company where they bore under the ground to make tunnels to run cars in, but I, I feel like he's building them actually to run trains in. I might be wrong about that, I don't know, but they're running cars in them now. I think he's got about 20 miles built of tunnels going in under California out there. And uh, I think they'll use that to, to start uh, running trains in uh, into these big cities and stuff like that where you'd have to put them way up in the sky and build these big pillars and stuff for them and concrete pillars like bridges and stuff for them and I just don't see that that's feasible like that. Uh, he'd be better off, they'd be better off to uh, and cheaper off to build tunnels with them. Uh, I think you can build the tunnels a lot cheaper than you can build the, the uh, bridges and whatnot for a high speed railway. Uh, Unless you had a big open path, you could go out, out like out in the desert or something, you know, out in open territory or interstate or whatever. Uh, if you had to go through cities with them or something like that, you'd be better off to bore you a tunnel through them to get get through the city, and uh, uh, you could make certain stops through the city that way It'd be like a subway uh, train but anyway uh, Tesla builds robots they build semis and I feel like they build buses for it over with too he's, he's building a new factory out there to build these semi trucks and depending on how good they sell uh, I'm I imagine they do pretty good because uh, they've come up with this new battery tech that can get up to a thousand miles uh, on a charge and uh, they really advanced uh, the battery technology on them and uh, Tesla uh, I, 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 I said he had a dozen I think the other day on that video, but uh, I got to looking and he's got more robots than that built right now. Uh, and I, I, I figure they'll plan on putting them in production in 2024 sometime. And uh, 
that again will increase the amount of the stock, the value of the stock, and uh, between the robots and the semi trucks and the buses and the cars and the cyber truck, I would say there's five different opportunities that he's got to raise the value of that stock because it's all in the same company and uh, I'm going to say if a person is going to invest in, in, in something and wants something for a long term investment to do very very well at it it would be that Tesla uh, stock and like I say it's around $240 $250 a share or something like that right now and uh, I believe the value of that company is going to be shooting way on up there starting this this next month uh, they've got over a million of those cyber trucks uh, ordered right now that people have called in and ordered and they was they was taking 10,000 orders a day there a few days ago last week and uh, he's he'll start having to mass produce them, and to, and it'd probably be a year or two before the next before they get all them orders there filled. I mean, I, I don't I don't see see them getting filled a lot quicker than that anyway. But uh, yeah, they they sure took took the order for them, I'll tell you that. And they'll, they'll be taking a lot of orders for the semi-trucks when they get them built too. Uh, it just saves them so much more on fuel and and uh, besides just the fuel, you don't have all to buy and filters to change on, on the truck uh, like you would a, a regular semi. And I, I'll tell you something else too. If he's coming out with a with a uh, uh, hydro engine as well, I, I've noticed uh, he, he's coming up with a hydrogen engine that uh, it may take over the electric vehicle market. I don't know. Uh, but he's, he's going to start uh, putting them in the, some of the Tesla vehicles. Uh, I don't know how easy hydrogen would be, get, be to get. Uh, I, I guess it'd be a lot easier than what uh, would be to get the uh, electric charge up. There's there's another possibility right there in its own, and it'll be all green too. All green works, but uh, uh, if I was gonna buy any stock, I would sure buy a Tesla for sure. And uh, that's just the way I look at it right now. I don't. I don't see why anybody wouldn't buy Tesla stock if they was investing in any stock right now. Uh, I know uh, I heard Warren Buffett say something about he bought some. I heard something about somebody said he bought some or whatever of Tesla stock, but I don't know how much he bought or whatever, but you know if he buys it, it's got to be good or you would think it would but uh, I wish you'd uh, leave me a comment let me know how I'm doing let me know how you like these stock picks and, uh, or if you don't uh, I'd sure appreciate your feedback and uh, also if you like the channel uh, subscribe and, uh, and uh, like my channel if you would.
Thank you very much. Y'all have a good evening.